Uh, my name is Sajibir Singh and I'm a competitor in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and Mixed Martial Arts. So over the last two to three years I've competed in a few Brazilian Jiu Jitsu competitions, a couple of wrestling competitions and I've had two same professional MMA fights. So from that I've kind of gained a bit of experience of how to or what to do to kind of prevent injury. So the first thing I've learned is always make sure you warm up properly and make sure you stretch properly. So um, that kind of encompasses make sure you're doing the right kind of drill before training. So that could be anything from leading up to stretching properly and to make sure you're getting your heart rate up right. So in our club what we do is make sure that our warm up is consistent of sports related or what you're doing related to your game, that kind of warm up. So for example if I'm doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, our instructor makes sure that our warm up is going to consist of exercises that are related to our sparring or related to the movements we're going to do later on in that day. Um, for MMA, I've really found that's helpful is you want to make sure you get the right nutrition in. So um, levels of zinc and calcium are really, really important. So through that, I get that through broccoli, lentils um, and nuts. The main thing that I've kind of realised is that there's a lot of um, like a stereotype about diet. So a lot of people think it's, it's got to be all high protein or it's got to be full of good carbohydrates and they really want to cut out fat. Like, no, everyone's kind of avoiding fat these days. But what I found is that you want to incorporate the right fats and that's really, really important for um, injury prevention. Um, an example of incorporating good fats is stuff like avocado. So I like to have that after training or even before training. As long as you're getting the right fats in, that is, is the main thing pretty much. Um, lastly, what I kind of do after training, the post-workout is uh, using a farm roller. So that is to kind of help push out knots um, to kind of really loosen up your back after training because that's where your muscle stiffness comes in. So using a farm roller just helps prevent that. Um, and that would take literally five, ten minutes, so it's nothing that's going to kind of waste your time in one sense. That's pretty much it.